Let's look at the following example in which we're going to calculate the frequency of one of the guitar strings knowing the beat frequency. And in part two, we're going to calculate the velocity of the standing wave of each respective string. So two guitar strings are supposed to be oscillating at an equal frequency of 230 hertz, but a person standing next to the two vibrating strings hears four beats every single two seconds. In part A, if one of these guitar strings vibrates at a frequency of 230 hertz, find the frequency of the second guitar string. So first we want to find the beat frequency. The beat frequency is given by taking the number of beats and dividing by the time it takes to hear those beats. So four beats divided by two seconds is equal to two beats every single second or equivalently two hertz. Now we want to use this equation to calculate the frequency of one of the guitar strings. So the beat frequency is equal to the absolute value of F2 minus F1, where F1 is the frequency of string number one, and it's equal to this quantity. So we're looking for F2. So we have two hertz is equal to the absolute value of F2 minus 230 hertz, and we find that there are two possible values for F2. F2 is either 232 hertz or 228 hertz. Let's move on to part B. If the length of each string is 70 centimeters, Calculate the velocity of the standing wave in each string, assuming n equals 1, where n is simply our harmonic number. So, we essentially want to use this equation. The velocity of our standing wave is equal to the product of the lambda and the frequency, where lambda is the wavelength of our standing wave. And the frequency, well, it's simply the number of cycles every single second. So, recall that lambda is equal to 2 multiplied by the length of that string divided by n, our harmonic number. And since n is equal to 1, lambda 1 is simply 2L and lambda 2 is also 2L. So V1 is equal to lambda 1 times F1, which is equal to 2L times F1. And V2 is equal to lambda 2 times F2 is equal to 2L times F2. So F1, we know from example or part A, is 230. So 2 times 0 0.7 meters times 230 hertz gives us a velocity of 322 meters per second. And the velocity of standing wave inside string number 2 is 2 times 0 0.7 meters multiplied by 232 hertz. So we're assuming our frequency in string number 2 is 232 hertz. So we multiply these out and we get a velocity of 324.8 meters per second.